All right, 13 News Now at 430 is back, and we're digging deeper into the fallout of President Biden's historic announcement this weekend. Joining me in the studio once again, political analyst Leslie Coggle from Virginia Wesleyan University. Thank you again. Thank you. All right, this one time I want to talk about endorsements, because we know that the endorsements poured in. Nancy Pelosi finally came out today. I mean, it's important that these key figures get behind Kamala Harris if she's going to secure that nomination. Absolutely. You're seeing the key figures in the Democratic Party get behind her pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think notably Nancy Pelosi is a big one, but also a lot of the people who have gained attention as individuals who might possibly run against Harris in a contested primary, uh, like Governor Pritzker, have pretty quickly thrown their support behind a Harris candidacy. The person that we haven't heard about an endorsement, of course, President Obama, former President Obama. What what is at play there? I mean, what is he? Doesn't mean he doesn't support her, but what is the thinking there? Yeah, President Obama, as far as his approach to the post presidency, has been has tried to kind of stay out of the kind of everyday, not the everyday politics aspects. Mm -hmm. Of, of kind of campaigns. So you'll see him comment on big issues. He's been much less involved and much less likely to get involved in things like making endorsements in competitive primaries or making endorsements of candidates. And will this seem as if though, you know, like maybe some folks will think, oh, it was some sort of coordinated effort and he just kind of wants to stay away from that right now? There is definitely a narrative that's floating around some conspiracy theories that the Biden administration has really been one in which President Obama is calling the shots. And I'm certain that at least on some level, the Bidens know this and the Biden or the Bidens, I'm sorry, the Obamas know this <coughs> and the Obamas know that there's probably something to be gained from stepping back mm -hmm. and stopping mm -hmm. that narrative from being at play and being at the forefront right now. So come the convention time in August, it will be an open convention, convention technically. Yes, so we're waiting on the Democratic National Committee Rules Committee to mm -hmm. tell us exactly what it will look like. But really what you need is any candidate who is looking to take delegates right now needs 300 signatures to essentially be in the competition and then they would have to get delegates behind them. And one of the things that we've quickly seen is Kamala Harris has those lined up. She has those signatures already and she's ready to go. The only mm -hmm. other person who said they have any interest in contesting the primary uh, is Marianne Williamson and she doesn't have any signatures behind her. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Also coming out today is uh, Biden, uh, President Biden saying that he looks forward to campaigning vigorously with Harris on the campaign trail. That's going to look interesting. I and mean, he, you know, he, it's just going to be kind of like an unusual look because you're, you were so used to seeing him talk about his presidency, but that, that will give her a boost, I would think. Yeah, it is an interesting dynamic. And mm -hmm. I would say that one of the things I would imagine you're going to see really quickly, not among strong partisans, but certainly among the people in the middle, is that individuals who were kind of tepid on Biden as a candidate but didn't really have much against his policies or his presidency are going to look upon him a little bit more favorably. So he might end up being an asset on the campaign trail in a way that he wasn't as a candidate. Yeah, okay, well, we'll see what happens there.